I'm Nick. And I'm Mitch. And this is the Oilers Zone. Let's start off with the boys golf. Earlier in the week they placed fifth at their invite in Flint. And they have an emerald invite on Saturday at 10 a.m. Good luck guys. Girls tennis is next and earlier this week at the Heritage Invite they placed four. Then on Wednesday they played against Bay City Western and crushed them 7-1. Good luck Saturday at St. John's. Now into softball. The ladies were 1-1 one one with Midland Dow on Monday. And on Saturday, Mount Pleasant is hosting their tournament at 9 a.m. Good luck, ladies. And with baseball, the guys split St. John's as well. Then later in the week, the boys defeated Saginaw, Arthur Hill in both games. Then on Saturday, they are up against Grand Ledge at 11 a.m. Lastly, girls soccer. They played against Midland Dow on Monday. The ladies fell short 1-0 with a Midland Dow goal in the second half. On Thursday, the girls were unstoppable against Saginaw with a huge win. The final score was 11 to 0. On Saturday, they're at Cadillac. Good luck, ladies. This week's top story is on not only a great hall monitor, but a great tennis coach for the boys and girls. We sat down with Greg Wendro and found out more about him and how he contributes to athletics here at Mount Pleasant. What do you do here at MPHS? Well, Mr. Wells, my title is Assistant to Student Affairs. Um, I interact with hundreds of students a day, kind of like the eyes and ears of the school. I try to memorize as many kids as possible. Um, Keep the safe school, or keep the school safe for the learning process, uh, and just make sure you know things run smoothly. Document teenage behavior, um, help kids whenever I can. How long have you been a tennis coach for boys and girls? Well, I started just after uh, my college tennis career got over with in 1981. I've coached boys and girls since then. Um, I had a brief hiatus for uh, nursing school a couple years in the 90s where I attended nursing school and, and got my RN degree. But other than that, I've been here in the fall and spring since 1981. Okay, what's the main difference between boys and girls tennis? Not a big difference. Um, I don't want to shoot any stereotypes out there, but uh, there's, a, there's a few nuances. But basically, it's just coaching tennis. Okay, what's your record for the boys tennis this year? Uh, this past fall, the boys had a real, real successful season. Uh, their dual match record was seven and four, and we finished eleventh uh, in Division Three. So that was a great honor when you uh, get to go to the state finals. We had a lot of fun uh, competing there. Okay, and what is tennis practice like? Tennis practice is a combination of uh, uh, drilling the kids in fundamentals and then playing some points out to see if they can duplicate what they did in the drill. Okay, so what are your expectations for the girls' tennis this season? Uh, girls' season, uh, big expectations because we have a strong uh, core of six seniors that have a lot of experience, and then we have some talented underclassmen, so that's usually a great combination for, for success on the court. Um, and we've already had a match this year that kind of indicates that we, uh, we tied Midland High, which uh, in the USTA, uh, they were honored as uh, Tennis Town USA, so they've got a national reputation for their tennis facilities and their programs, so we, we were real proud just to even tie them. Okay, and when did you first start to get involved with tennis? Well, I was always a baseball player until about junior high when uh, one of my buddies took me to a tennis court, and uh, I kind of liked the idea that you'd be up to bat every single time a tennis ball came around and you got to hit it, because I loved hitting baseballs. But, uh, that's when I kind of developed a passion for it, and I, I you know, played in high school and college and, and uh, coaching since. Okay, so how much does tennis mean to you? Well, after that last question, I basically, you know, since I've been 12 years old, been involved with tennis. Um, and got an opportunity to play in high school and had a lot of fun, and then actually uh, paid my way through school and college, Division One uh, student athlete. Um, a lot of good memories from that, and then just being involved with uh, coaching and. I've seen hundreds of athletes go through the doors, and now a lot of them are, are coaches themselves. Well, not a lot of them, but, but a handful, six or seven, are actually head coaches now. And, and just a lot of friendships and contacts that you you know you meet through a sport like tennis. It's a, it's a lifetime sport, and uh, I'm still going hard at it. Awesome. And last question: What is some advice for some athlete, athletes? Advice for athletes? Well, I think it's important that every day you got to prove yourself as an athlete, and not you know get think you're all that, um, work hard at what you're doing, and, and especially have fun at what you're doing because all sports are essentially just games, and we all start out as young people just playing games, and you know, eat, you get better at it and just enjoy that process, don't worry too much about the, the negative things or the losses, but just concentrate on the good things that happened and uh, forget the bad. It's awesome. How has Greg improved your tennis career? 
Uh, coach basically taught me how to play tennis, and like I was really bad at first, so he like worked with me like one on one over the summer, so to get where I am now. Well, uh, Greg Wendrow has been my coach for four years in tennis, and he's really helped me improve. Like when I first started tennis, I didn't know much about it, and I didn't know any of the fundamentals. But now, I know everything there is to know about it, pretty much. And um, if we were having a bad time out on the court, he would just come out and talk to us and help us get through it, you know, and try to win, win the match. And he took us to states this year, which is always a good thing, you know. And he always has good things to say about us, and he's a great tennis coach. This is Shelby Carter, a member of the Mount Pleasant High School tennis team. How has Greg helped you? Um, well, Greg tends to make practices fun and make sure that we are always on task. And if we're not, he'll use his own ways to uh, get us back on task. And he's really keeping us driven. And he's brought the boys to a, a state. So that's really nice. And I think that was a very good accomplishment by him. So he's really done a lot for me and my tennis team. Greg, you know, he's just, he's like my cornerstone, you know, he's not my tombstone, my cornerstone. Um, he's been there for me though, you know, I, when I'm having a bad day, he'll tell me to suck it up and maybe make fun of me in front of the inter Ooh. It's a sign from Greg. No, he just, he tells me to suck it up, makes fun of me a lot too, but he's been a good guy. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna pass it over to Bryce. Yeah, he's alright. How has Greg helped you with your tennis career? He's really nice and he's a good coach. Uh, he motivated me and he helped me with my fundamentals and showed me new drills and practice. He's a good coach. That's Greg for you. Always involved. Great guy. Well, that's our top story for this week. Until next week, stay in the zone.